Today, we're reviewing the s'mores old fashioned at the Hotel Hershey. Stay off the cuff, that's OFF. Uh, show them bars to the worldwide net. All the drinks may yet pass one to me. Let's see, he the old fashioned king, the old fashioned king. From Genius Rubbers, we are back again with another Old Fashioned Friday, and this week we have a very special episode. Today we're at the sweetest place on earth, Hershey, Pennsylvania, at the Hotel Hershey, inside the Iberian Lounge, trying out their s'mores Old Fashioned. If you just tuned into our channel, we are Virginia's for Rubbers. We do a series every single Friday called Old Fashioned Friday, where we review old fashions around the entire world. Off of four things, zero to three on appearance, or sip, overall taste, and zero to one on overall ambiance of the establishment in which we are enjoying that cocktail at. Uh, we'll jump into this appearance first. Please stick around for the ambiance because there's a lot of history with the Hotel Hershey and a lot of really, really cool fun facts as well. S'mores Old Fashioned, they're using in a Basil Hayden Toast, which is pretty fire. It's actually uh, one of the allocated bourbons in Virginia. It's not extremely hard to get, but it's like not extremely easy to get either. I think that's really dope. They're also using a Mezcal, Creme de Cacao, which is basically just a uh, chocolate liqueur, toasted marshmallow syrup, Aztec chocolate bitters, and then you got the Graham Cracker Rim. If you're in Hershey, what better option? option do you have than getting a s'mores old fashioned. They have chocolate martinis, they have peanut butter cup martinis, they have peanut butter martinis, they have chocolate espresso martinis, they have the whole, all this, they got all the sweets covered obviously. So the s'mores old fashioned, we'll jump into the appearance first. Nice size glass. I love the fact that they have some toasted marshmallows on top of the Basil Hayden toast bourbon and they also have a graham cracker rim. Now the biggest thing that they're obviously lacking, which everyone's going to notice right off the rip, they don't have a single cube, they don't have clarified ice. Insanely shocking to me that they don't have that. This is the the nicest hotel in all of central Pennsylvania. It's one of 315 historic hotels in the entire country. Um, so there's a lot of history here. It was built in 1933 by Milton Hershey. He actually built it for his wife, Catherine. Catherine actually decorated everything. I'm gonna blame Catherine that they don't have clarified ice because I feel like it's probably her fault. You know, I mean, she did the decor. They need to have clarified ice. Anyways, this is a five-star high-end hotel. You would definitely expect a single cube along with clarified ice. So definitely uh, some negative points because of that. But I mean, the graham cracker, a s'mores old fashioned. You get the little marshmallows on top that has some bonus points. You can't get a higher score than two five without clarified ice. Without a single cube, it's really hard to get higher than a two. I'm going to go two one and keep it fair. They have a lot going on up top and they have a nice size glass. So two one first sip. Here we go. S'mores old fashioned Hershey Pennsylvania. That tastes exactly how a s'mores old fashioned should taste. I just listed all the ingredients. You would anticipate it being incredibly sweet. It's not overbearing as far as the sweetness is concerned. You get a little bite of that Basil Hayden toast. Incredibly smooth without being overly sweet. A very, very, very good first sip. I'm a little worried about the overall consistency because they don't have the clarified ice. And if you don't have clarified ice, Hotel Hershey, you can get the best clarified ice at stillice.com. Check them out. First sip, I'm gonna go high. And I feel like the overall might go a little lower because without the clarified ice, but first sip, I'm gonna go two points. Eight. We're gonna talk about the ambiance here at the Iberian Lounge at the Hotel Hershey. Iberian Lounge is a dope place to come grab a cocktail. I would argue it's the best place in the entire hotel. It's a lounge. They have a nice fire pit right beside me. They have some nice couches. They have a lot of ambient lighting. So a nice intimate spot to come and grab a cocktail. And they also have a bomb cocktail menu. They have Hershey Kiss, a chocolate martini, chocolate caramel martini, peanut butter cup martini, chocolate espresso martini, s'mores old fashioned, obviously, the nutcracker. And they also have some savory cocktails as well if you're not really looking for anything on the sweet side. Also, special guest, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for Mother's Day. We just had lunch at Trevi Five, which is a restaurant that I usually actually used to work at. It used to be called the Fountain Cafe for Mother's Day. And uh, yeah, now my mom's just sitting here watching me film this because that's what we do. So the actual Iberian Lounge is a really, really great, has great ambiance. On top of that, it's located inside the Hotel Hershey, which again is a historic hotel right outside of the Fountain Lobby, which is a beautiful lobby, notorious fountain located in the very center of the lobby. They have the beautiful sky painted ceilings and a lot of the Spanish architecture and decor throughout the entire lobby as well compliments of Catherine Hershey did that. As far as ambiance is concerned, full one. Again, this is the nicest hotel in all of central Pennsylvania. It doesn't even come close. If you're from Northern Virginia or the DC area, this is basically central Pennsylvania's salamander. It doesn't get any better than this. It's also across the street from Hershey Park, indoor outdoor pools. They have villas. They have the whole thing. Ambiance full one. Here we go. Overall. Still very smooth, very clean. It's getting a little bit watered down. We know why. Someone think the graham cracker might be a little bit too much to add on to all those other sweet ingredients. I'm telling you, man, all of these ingredients blend together perfectly well. I'll do a little marshmallow. With the marshmallows, unbelievable. I mean, I would say you could even maybe spray a little fire on the marshmallows, get them a little bit more toasted, but I mean, it's, it's incredible. Last sip, here we go. 
The more it gets a little bit more watered down without the clarified ice, you're also gonna a taste a little bit more of the sweetness. So it is gonna become a little bit more sweeter once you get down to the bottom there, but it's still really, really good. Overall, it's incredibly good. One of the best riffs of an old fashioned that I've had to date. However, they don't have the clarified ice, so they can't stay consistent. I'm telling you, Hotel Hershey, if you get some clarified ice, this this could be close to like a 10 out of 10. I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating. It's that good. Without the clarified ice and a lack of consistency because of that, we're gonna drop a little bit. I'm gonna go two to five. So there we have it. The S'mores Old Fashioned Iberian Lounge Hotel Hershey, Virginia Issa Rubbers 8.4. Cheers, guys.